else? So I'm not quite in the picture, but it's all about the dogs anyways. Today we have the Bark Box. This is the December Bark Box. It's not green, so I don't suppose it'll be Grinch themed. I did think that was cute. I love the Grinch. And that box was very cute. But I think of the Grinch as Christmas, so I thought it would have been more fitting to be December's. <laughs> Let me do it myself, thanks. To be December's box. Um, it looks like a fireplace or something. Definitely Christmasy theme color. All right. Snuggle up your pup. Start by your dog's side when they while they dig into the high high bark box. Well, it looks like this is a game. It come I love board games. It came with a spinner. It has pieces to cut out. Oh. Snuggles, pups, and Heige, Heige, pronounced Huga, is a Danish word that basically means feeling comfy, cozy, and snug as a pug in a rug. It's the warm and fuzzy feeling you get from your warm and fuzzy dog, no matter how cold it is outside. And even when you're a hair Huga pal, Harry Huga pal snacks on your sandwich candles and chews on your woolly blanket. There's nobody who makes you feel more at home. So yeah, there's three little stands and six game. Oh no, there's six game pieces and six stands to stand up your game pieces. The spinner and this is actually the game board. A little crinkly but it is a game board and the other side is yes exactly what I thought a fireplace so I will totally play this game um, I have over a hundred board games so if this is fun and real stop it I'm trying to keep the paper nice it has game pieces, it has a spinner, and it has a thing. Just put them all in a Ziploc baggie. MBD. Okay, but I did actually want to see this. This has the, yeah. Uh, the toys on it. Okay, so we got this one. And this one. So we got two of them on this uh, cozy Heige. I still don't know what that word is. Danish? It's Danish... Huga, but it's H Y G G E. It looks like Heige, but it says it's pronounced Huga. Huga. It's a Danish word that means snug, warm and fuzzy, basically. All right, so we got a squirrel. This is Pajama Party Marty. <laughs> There's a grunt, squeak, a grunt, squeaker, and crinkle. Uh, so, this is Pajama Party Marty. That is too cute. So, it is a squirrel in pajamas. That is a grunt, squeaker. Grunt, squeaker. Alright, then we got, it looks like a cinnamon roll. How we roll. And it looks like a cinnamon roll. There's a disc squeaker and a crinkle. So it is just a cinnamon, oh! And it even comes unraveled, just a scoonch. So there's his face. Oh, wait a minute. And you can even peel back a layer, and he still has a, a sad face. Oh, he's happy. 
No, he's sad. It looks good. Now I want a cinnamon roll. Alright, then we got, ooh, this thing is heavy. Long lasting deluxe lamb chew. It is actually very heavy, so it feels like it's probably got a, like very packed in there. Okay. Now we have Pella's Peppermint Bark. Huga Comfort Food. Carob and Peppermint Dog Treats. Mmm, I can smell the peppermint. And they're just little squares. They smell good. Okay, and the last thing is who you get comfort food? Mikkel's Chicken Pot Pie. Chicken Dog Treats. They smell like jerky. And they're just broken into little squares. Yeah, they smell like jerky. Okay, that's it. That's everything. So, I guess it was a Danish Christmas comfort theme. I'm still not quite sure about all of that. Um, I do like that they actually made the paper usable. I don't know how good the game will be and if you need other things, but um, it looks like it might be fun, especially for me who loves board games. The treats actually smell like human good. I'm not going to eat them, but... They actually smelled good, where some, sometimes they stink. And the toys are very cute, kind of Christmassy, but it's more about comfort, I think. So this was like a Danish-inspired comfort box. Either way, it's always a hit. The toys, Molly gets the toys. Somehow we figure out how to uh, split these either three ways or buy something similar from Walmart or something and give them each one and everybody always loves the treats. Alright, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!